good day all and welcome back to our channel so in this video let's discuss about survey module in odo 40 so we can use a uh, survey for a range of purposes that can go for collecting customer feedback uh, evaluate uh, the performance of employee um, or success of an event or uh, we can conduct interviews using these forms then measure how pleased customers are with products or services then how employees are happy or satisfied with their working environment. So we can use survey module for a lot of purpose. So here we can find our module when you install it from App Store service. So here we can see uh, this uh, can see different surveys created like this includes a feedback form, quiz about company, then you can see appraisal forms. So these are all the surveys and created. Then you can see it is tracked to uh, in progress. So these surveys are in in progress state. And if some of surveys are closed, you can just bring uh, just drag it and bring to close stage. Okay. So if you create a survey in draft state, you can see it in draft state. Okay, so for some of the surveys, you can find some uh, information related to that survey. That is number of answers for this um, certification and number of certificates created, then number of, that is the success rate in percentage can be viewed. Okay, so, so these, So these surveys are automatically filtered by state and we can filter them according to certification. Uh, so you can see all the surveys with certification, arcade surveys can be viewed and we can uh, group them according to state or we can add custom group. So here, when you click create, you can create a new survey. So here we can create a new survey. It can be a recruitment survey or generic survey can create interview form sorry interview then here it is we are able to create sections that is we can divide the questions to as sections and we can add questions sorry Okay, so session is created. So we can see section is created and we can just click on add question and we can add, add question. We can add questions here. Which of the following programming languages are not object oriented? And uh, here we can provide a question type as multiple lines text box or single line text box. Or so when you select single line text box, you can see some options like input must be an email or save as user nickname or we have to validate entry. So when you click on validate entry, you can find option to set a minimum text length and validation error message. Then uh, for this also, Then for numerical value, here also you can uh, see option for validating entry. Then we have question type as date, date time, multiple choice or answer, only answer one. So here it is possible to add choices. Then we can also find option that is multiple choice with multiple answers can be allowed. Then we can op find option metrics. So we can add uh, rows here. 
So I'm selecting multiple choice, only one answer. Then we can save and close or save and create new question. Uh, so in this way, we can add multiple question. And now I'm adding level two. And we can add section. Then again, we can add question. So here I'm adding second question and I am adding same thing that is multiple choice, only one answer. So here we can provide options. Then we can save it again. So in this way multiple sections and multiple uh, questions can be added for your uh, survey form. Then here we can provide a description. So this form is used to recruit employees to be Then here we can find some options. Uh, so we can set the layout of the questions. That is whether we want a one uh, all questions in one page or all uh, one page uh, per section or one page per question. So we can set that. Okay, I'm setting this one one page per question. Then we can set progression uh, pro progression mode. If number is selected. Uh, it, it display the number of questions answered on the total number of questions to answer. So we can see that in number or percentage. So I'm setting it as percentage. Okay, so let it be number. Then we can set a survey time limit. Mm, so I'm going to set two minutes. Then here we can set selection, uh, whether all questions can be selected or we can randomize. We can, we can select questions in random way per section. Then here we can see option that, that is to enable back button for your survey form. Okay. Then here we can find option for scoring. So for scoring, we can find three choices. That is whether you uh, want scoring. So we can see no scoring. Mm, so no scoring will be given for answers. Then for second option, scoring with answers at end. Then for third option, scoring without answers at end. So I'm setting scoring with answers at end. Then here we can set the success rate. So if 80 percentage is score, then the attended person will pass the exam. Then here we can provide certification for the attender. So we can also send an e set an email template to send the certification, not to send certification by email. Then we can see the certification template. Then we can find option to preview the template. Okay. Then here we can see some options for candidates that is to set access mode. So uh, we can, uh, that is anyone with link can use the survey form or we can invite people. So invited people only can uh, fill the survey form. So when you select invited people only, you can uh, find option to set attempts limit. So here we can set number of items, like I'm going to set two items. Then here we can see appraisal managers only. So when you check this, op check this option, you can restrict the answers to appraisal managers only. Then we can set as login required. So login users can only fill the survey form.
attend the survey. Then here we can see option for live session. Uh, so we can reward quick answers. Attend this code more points if they answer quickly. Then we can set the session code. Okay, after that we can save the survey. And uh, you can also see the number of person registered and number of certificate created, number of answers uh, created for the survey. So if you want to test the survey, you can just click on set test and it is also possible to print the survey. So now we can see the survey is in draft mode. So you can see it is draft in draft and you can just move it to do, uh, move to in progress. And uh, from here, you can see when you move to progress, you can see share button. But when you uh, move to, that is when you are in draft state, you can see option start survey. So directly from here also, we can just uh, start survey and move to in progress state. Then uh, when you click on the share, here we can find option to share the survey form to different uh, recipients. After that, you can send it. So now you can see a registered number, it's changed to one. And you can find a session link here. So you can just copy it. Okay, so we have to set, uh, that is we have to set a score for this choice. So as we have enabled score, scoring at end, you have to set scoring for choice. So the, we, have, we can set uh, an option as correct answer. So I'm going to set this option as correct one. So you can see this. And for correct choice, you can provide a mark. So I'm providing mark as 50. And you can also provide negative marks. So now I'm, I'm not providing that. Then for the second question, also I can mark correct one. So I'm setting this first option as a correct answer. I can also provide score for this choice for providing 50. Okay. So after that, I can save it. Okay. So now let's test the survey. So you can see this form is used to recruit employees to Java developer post. So this was, uh, this was a uh, description given inside the form and you can see time limit for the survey is two minutes. So you can start certification or press enter to continue with this interview. So you can just click on enter and you can see uh, the countdown begins. Now here we can see the question, uh, one question per page. Which of the following programming languages are not object oriented? So here we can select one option, C. Then we can see the second question in Java, can you call base class method without creating an instance? So I'm choosing option yes. Then after that, we can press enter or submit this Okay, so we can click submit and you can see you scored 100 percentage. So you have passed this test. So minimum uh, score to pass the test is 80 percentage. Now it is possible to download certification from here. So we can just open with And you can see certificate is presented to username. You can see the date, everything can be seen here. So we can go back to a survey. So we have uh, done a test survey. Okay, so we can again test survey. You can start certification. So I'm um, Selecting an incorrect option, then when you submit, you can see 
you scored 50 percentage but unfortunately you have failed the test and can see number of attempts left too so we can retry uh, so this is because we need 80 percentage score to pass the uh, interview okay so again we can go back to edit circuit Now here we can see participation. So we can see the all the participation and it is grouped according to survey. So for feedback form interview, you can see uh, all the participation. Okay, so when you click on this, you can see the uh, interview that survey, then the partner participated, then the email ID, then number of attempts, then status, we can see completed then quiz passed so you can see the whether passed the quiz then you can see the score percentage of the participator attendee so when you click on that uh, participation you can see things in detail like survey name created on partner name then you can see questions then the section in which the question is created then answer type can see if it is skipped then we can see create date whether it is correct then we can see it is uh, the score and it's also possible to print the uh, participation so uh, we can use this survey form to create appraisal like when you use this uh, survey form for example we have a feedback form so we can just click on this and if it is uh, if the survey form is in progress we can share this link to employees and this employees can make use of this link and make use of the survey form to evaluate performance of company or employees that is used for appraisal employee appraisal so for appraisal we have done a detailed video we can check that so that is we have appraisal module here so when you open our place appraisal uh, here we can uh, find appraisals created so when you click one here we can find option to ask feedback and it is also possible to see the feedback survey. So when you click on ask feedback, it is possible to select the survey template from here. And we can set that is add employees, that is recipients, and we can send it uh, as mail. Okay, so when you click on this feedback survey, we'll be able to see the feedback form, the survey form. So we can edit survey or go back to appraisal. Okay, so that's all about survey module in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cybrosis.com.